Welcome back to Joy Recaps, movie stories recapped here. Today, I'm going to recap an American horror film called Hostel. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Two college students are shown at the beginning of the film. Paxton is one, and Josh is another. They have both traveled to Europe to visit. They meet their friend Oli in Iceland. They all travel to Amsterdam together. After leaving a nightclub, they return to their hostel late at night. Because the door was shut and no one was opening it, they were forced to stop outside. At the same time, their neighbor Alex summons them to his apartment and they enter. Alex suggests they go to a hostel in Slovakia where they will find many girls and they had already traveled from America to Europe in search of luxury. They took the train to Slovakia the next day after listening to him. They meet a businessman on this train. His hands were shaking a lot while he was eating. They are astounded by this because this man seemed strange to them. They then begin to converse with one another. While speaking, the man places his hand on Josh's leg, which enraged Josh. He cries at him, and the man walks away. They arrive at their destination, Slovakia, in no time. When they arrive at the station, they notice that there is no one else there and that the station is empty. They stay in the same hostel and see girls everywhere. They are overjoyed when they see them. They then proceed to their room, where they meet Natalia and Svetlana, and both of them invite them to the spa. They reach an agreement and proceed to the spa behind them. The girls then take them to a dance club. They have a great time, and then Josh leaves the club to get some fresh air. Then the community's criminal children surround them and demand money. The same businessman then appears and throws money in front of them. Those children flee with the money. Josh thanks him, offers him a drink, and apologizes for his conduct on the train. He tells Josh that this is what you should do at your age, and all you have to do is bear your rage. What else could he possibly do? Holy, on the other hand, takes a girl with him to reception. They are both very happy when they wake up in the morning. They had had more luxury than they had anticipated. Oli, however, was nowhere to be found. They attempted to call him, but his phone was not responding. The receptionist informs them that Oli checked out in the morning, but this is completely beyond their comprehension. Then a Japanese girl named Kana approaches them and shows Oli and her friend's picture on her phone. She informs them that Yuki, who is also missing, was sent to her in the morning by a friend. After a while, they receive a picture from Oli's phone with the message, I go home. But in reality, someone had separated Oli's head from his body. In addition, he was torturing Yuki. On the other hand, Paxton and Josh intend to flee with Kana. Natalia and Svetlana arrive at this point. They invite them to a dancing club. Josh was in no mood to go anywhere, but Paxton wanted to have fun, so he convinces Josh to agree as well. These girls feed them something in club. As a result, Josh's physical condition deteriorates and he returns to the hostel. He falls unconscious as soon as he enters his room. Paxton, who is also sick, goes to the storeroom instead of the bathroom, and its door closes, trapping him inside. He could hardly see when he regained consciousness. He notices that someone has locked him in a room with numerous instruments around him. First, someone removes his mask and drills two holes in his chest. He was, in fact, that businessman. Josh, he says, has always wanted to be a surgeon, but he never did because his hands shivered all the time. Josh begs him for mercy, but he cuts his feet from behind and opens the door to the frontal room. He unties Josh's hands and feet and tells him that he is now free to go. Josh attempts to flee immediately, but is unable to do so due to mutilated feet. He falls off and tries to crawl away, but that man murders him by severing his throat. Paxton awakens and returns to the hostel, where he discovers that he had supposedly checked out. Hearing this, he is taken aback because he has not made any purchases. He requests a new room for rent and is given one. He inquires about Kana, to which the receptionist responds that she, too, has left in the morning. When Paxton enters his room, the same things begin to happen to him. As he approaches the room, he meets two girls who invite him to the spa. Everything appears strange to him, and he is amazed. He tries calling Josh, but it is futile because his cell phone is turned off. Following that, he goes to the police station and files a report, but they, too, refuse to assist him. He returns to the hostel and inquires about Josh with Natalia and Svetlana. They initially avoided him by talking here and there. However, when he becomes enraged, they inform him that they saw Josh in an art exhibition. Natalia takes Paxton to an old factory where there are many rich people and their guards. When they enter, they notice that the man had brutally manipulated Josh's body. He was performing some sort of surgical procedure on him. Before he could do anything, security guards arrived and escorted him out of the building. People are being tortured all around Paxton, and everyone is crying. They bind Paxton in the same room and command him to speak. As soon as he speaks, the guard informs him that he is an American and departs. Following that, a man begins torturing him and cuts his two fingers with a chainsaw. As a result, his handcuffs snap. 
He advances, but his foot slips and he falls. With this chainsaw, he cuts his own foot. Paxton immediately frees himself, pulls out a gun, and shoots him. Soon after, a security guard arrives, but Paxton shows him that he is still bound. He kills that guard as soon as he gets the chance, and the bullets are finished. He runs from one room to another. He sees dead bodies all over the place. When someone unexpectedly appears, he hides among the dead bodies. That man was transporting the dead bodies to another location. Paxton also discovers Josh's body there. He somehow keeps his cool and kills that man as well. He gets away from there and takes the elevator to the first floor. He hides in a room where he finds some nice clothes and tries them on. He discovers a card in the pocket of a dress that contained the address of that location as well as the name Elite Hunting. Different rates of people from various countries were mentioned behind that card. The rate was highest among Americans. Paxton was reading everything when a man came in, but he saw Paxton as a client. He explains that he met a Japanese girl and that he has many plans for her. He's talking about Kana here. Paxton grabs his gun and runs outside as soon as he leaves. He notices a car with its keys inside. He was sitting in the car when he heard Kana scream. He rushes into the room to save her. As he enters the room, he notices the same man who is now burning her face with the blowtorch. He also murders that man. Kana was in excruciating pain because half of her eye was missing. Paxton removes her eye from her body to save her life. This causes a great deal of disruption. This is a very disturbing scene. They escape in a car, pursued by guards, after somehow making it outside and saving their lives. Paxton runs over Natalia, Svetlana, and Alex while driving, killing them with his car. Paxton wanted to go to station, but police were checking on him. They were accompanied by police. A police officer spots Paxton in a car and approaches him. They get out of the car and flee. They walk until they reach the station, but there are many people looking for them. In the mirror, Kana sees her expression and becomes discouraged. She tries to commit suicide by jumping in front of a train. Many people gather as a result of this incident. Paxton discovers a way to escape and, seizing the opportunity, boards the train, which begins to move. On this train, he hears the same businessman's voice. Paxton follows this man to the station where he stops. He was in the company of his daughter. They each have their own toilet. That man has been waiting for her daughter outside the bathroom for a long time. When she does not appear, she goes inside and discovers that she is not present. There was nothing but her toy. He looks everywhere for his daughter, but she is nowhere to be found. On the other hand, Paxton kidnaps his daughter and takes her on the train with him. That man is still looking for his daughter. The club depicted in the film is one where wealthy people congregate. People from various countries are their prey on whom they will vent their rage and kill. People from different countries have different rates. Americans have the highest rate because they despise them so much. They have been in this industry for a long time. Police were also present. They provide girls to the visitors and then murder them. The film ends here.